Hi everybody, it's Miss Jackie. Still baseball theme this week at Tower Hill. So we are having lots of fun um, doing baseball crafts. And today everyone wore different baseball shirts and we have different fans from different states and just so much fun. What a beautiful day. It was raining, there was thunder, now it's sunny. What is happening? Miss Jackie's at her house. I had to rush home because Logan needed lunch. So here I am going to read my story. 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Coral. I found out something amazing about this book. In 1992, a shipment of 29,000 rubber bathtub toys, including ducks, frogs, turtles, fell overboard from a container ship. And these rubber toys were starting to wash up everywhere. Um, in Alaska, the Bering Strait, all over the place, there was an article written, Rubber Ducks Lost at Sea. And Eric Carl, who has written, you know, 70, over 70 picture books for young readers, knew he wanted to make a story. Here he is. That is the author. Doesn't he look nice? Like a nice grandpa, a nice pop pop. So you can always tell his stories with the illustrations. You probably, one of his most famous, The Very Hungry Caterpillar and The Very Lazy Spider, The Very um, Lazy Ladybug, gr Grouchy Ladybug. And there's a museum in Massachusetts, the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art. I would love to go there. So a lot of very funny things. He also in 2003 won the Laura Ingalls Wilder Award because of all of his amazing books. So that's my little spiel on Eric Carl. There are so many wonderful Eric Carl books and um, definitely check it out. The museum in Massachusetts, I would love to go there. And I, read, I learned so many things just by opening up this book. Now this book used to make sounds, so it's pretty big. It doesn't make the sounds anymore. But you can find all of his books in board book version for sure. Here's our 10 ducks. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chuckity, chuckity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks one after the other. One after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted. Their bills are red and their eyes are blue. Then they are packed 10 to a box. Look at all the boxes and off they go to be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries. To faraway countries. Suddenly, a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. 
the seventh little rubber duck drifts up. An octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting, it is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Only water and sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 says the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck follows along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 says the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. And if you push here, he squeaks. I have to fix those batteries for my friends, but he can squeak. Ten Little Rubber Ducks. I like this book. Maybe you have a rubber duck when you take a bath. Um, I always see little rubber ducks at Duck Donuts, which is in Middletown. They sell little rubber ducks there. And I also see little rubber ducks at the party store and sometimes at the dollar store. And what I love about this book and Eric Carle are his very whimsical and beautiful illustrations. And if you look, maybe you notice that some of the animals looked very similar to animals from brown bear, brown bear, and polar bear, polar bear. And if we wanna get all fancy, we would start calling that now a text to life connection. So if your child is reading a book, and the character's eating ice cream and they say, I got ice cream with daddy. Those are really important because they're connecting real life experiences to experiences um, in the book. And that is something that is really um, quite popular now, making these book to life, text to life connections. And um, that's why reading is so wonderful because they can connect it to things going on in their life. So maybe you can get a rubber duck if you don't have one and you can count to 10 or maybe you have 10 rubber ducks and that you can enjoy this book in the smaller version as well. Okay, this one is the big one that squeaks. I hope you like the story and I hope you don't mind Miss Jackie talking so much, but I love this author so I like to share what I've learned. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Bye everybody.